everyone, I'm Michael Majors. And I'm Todd Anderson. And you're watching the Versus Series on StarCityGames.com. All right, we're here today playing a little bit of Omniket Standard. Uh, unfortunately, last week we had two videos go up featuring the infamous Feldar Guardian. Uh, it's really funny. We in, we finished filming uh, our videos for the week about three hours before they announced that Feldar <laughs> Guardian was banned. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, the the I don't know the funny edits. Uh, I believe one was whenever someone says Feldar Guardian, the the video speeds up by a little bit, and so it was very short. <laughs> they said it a lot. Uh, the second one, uh, just uh, just meme heavy, just meme heavy. I've seen I've seen bits and pieces of it, but uh, anyway, uh, today we don't have Felidar Guardian in our decks. Obviously, that would be awkward. Yeah, it's like, well, we didn't get them. Man, we filmed those like months in advance. <laughs> you know? No, uh, today we're going to be playing uh, two decks from uh, the Magic Online PTQ that happened last weekend. Uh, today is Monday, uh, and. Honestly, these decks seemed really cool. A lot different from the very Mardu-heavy field that we saw at uh, the SCG's tour stop in Atlanta. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What, what do you make of the, the such a big difference between the two metagames? I think it's just a side effect of having Magic Online be released uh, much faster than normal almost a week and a half earlier than what, yeah. what, what we would normally be used to. Yeah, it came out the Monday after the pre-release, I believe. They started doing, uh, like, drafts and sealed events and stuff, so people were able to get their hands on the cards uh, rather quickly, uh, whereas normally the, the set would come out on Magic Online, like, the Wednesday or Thursday after the release, not the pre-release. So. Yeah, and I, I think a big side effect of that is that um, there there was, you know, some, some fallout from the fact that there was an emergency ban, so people didn't have a ton of time to scramble to get cards for Atlanta, so Marty Vehicles, which is, you know, probably the strongest deck in the format, at least leading into the Pro Tour, is kind of just the obvious good deck, good choice. It's going to beat up on people with untuned lists. And there's a massive amount of churn on Magic Online. It's, it's pretty easy for people to swap decks if they want to, just by buying and selling. And, uh, you know, the metagame evolves very rapidly. Um, so a side effect of that is that maybe decks get a little bit tuned a little bit faster leading into the PT. Um, but also, people can just have the freedom to kind of play whatever they want, and um, I, the side effect of that is basically what I'm playing this weekend, <laughs> or excuse me, today on Monday. Um, yeah, this is a list that went 6-1 in the Moto PTQ to make the top eight, and it looks really cool. It's a blue-red emerge deck featuring the uh, improvised, improvised thank yep. you, yep. thank you very much, which... Uh, Play some artifacts early on, use them to play your undercosted creatures, and then those creatures have very high CMCs, so you can emerge off them very easily. So it's this very heavily synergy-driven deck, and uh, I, I really like it a lot. It looks really creative. Yeah, I, I also like the fact that uh, a lot of your cards are uh, not necessarily prone to spot removal. You know, your your uh, the mechanist. I don't know the five drop one. What's Maverick Thopterist. Maverick Thopterist uh, just seems really powerful in a world where everyone's playing spot removal because mm -hmm. even if they're able to kill it, you're still left with two Thopters that can get some damage in. Not only like pressuring planeswalkers, but just pecking away at the life total. Uh, and the fact that they can come down on like turn three is pretty awesome too. So. Yeah, this deck technically is... turn two if you want to play a bunch of bone saws and stuff. But <laughs> you know, this deck is like. Very insulated from Fatal Push specifically, mm -hmm. and uh, Grasp Darkness isn't super good against it. What you were talking about, you can make some Thopter tokens, but even like Inventor's Goggles can quickly turn your Sweatworks Brawler into an ungraspable card. Yeah. Uh, today I'm going to be playing the, the deck that actually took down that Magic Online PTQ in the hands of a player named Zeus. Uh, don't know who it is in real life. I tried to message him to, to see, you know, who he was and stuff. No response. He was probably too busy celebrating <laughs> with his, you know, thousands of dollars worth of winnings and going to the Pro Tour. So, uh, But this deck is a Teamer Etherworks Marvel deck, and it revolves around the card Etherworks Marvel, obviously. But um, it looks a little bit different than, than the Etherworks Marvel decks that we've seen in the past. Uh, you know, we're, we're not really Planeswalker heavy uh, like the Jacob Baws of the world. Uh, instead, we're... we're Focus a lot more around uh, looking like a control shell with the ability to actually side into a control deck after sideboard. If your your you know deck is not necessarily geared uh, towards beating a control deck, for example, uh, you can board out your uh, Woodweaver's Puzzle Knots, your uh, Etherworks Marvels, and your Ulamogs, and board in two more copies of Torrential Gear Hulk, which there's one in the main deck already, uh, a bunch of counter spells, and like tireless trackers. 
Uh, so it's got a, a really cool transformational sideboard if you prefer that. Uh, but yeah, it, for the most part, Team Murray Works Marvel plays a bunch of uh, Rogue Refiners and Warlord Virtuosos. And, but the, the, the fact that it's kind of like a hybrid control deck, Marvel deck, made me uh, really take a second look at it. Yeah, I think a, a big side effect of the metagame, obviously Felder Guardian getting banned, is that you don't have to get on the battlefield as early and just try to you know make an attempt at pressuring Sahili Rai on turn three. So we're seeing a movement towards these Marvel decks getting a little bit slower, playing Glimmer of Genius. Uh, that's a very popular card in Marvel right now, and it makes a lot of sense, and it looks really good. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how this deck looks. I, I would like to test it out against uh, Mardu at some point in the near future, but I do know for a fact that Zeus was able to conquer a Mardu deck in the finals of the Magic Online PTQ. So, and uh, I played against uh, Mardu a few times, so I assume he had to play against it at least two or three times in the tournament. I think he played in the semis and the finals, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, maybe this is just the best deck in the format. Maybe uh, maybe it was a fluke. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's get to the match. Who takes it down between Team Mary Marvel and Blue Red, Blue Red Emerge? Emerge. <laughs> Blue, Red, Art Blue Red Emerge. <laughs> All right, Poker and goes first. Let's do it. Uh -huh. I, oh, I got some pair of threes, dog. Oh, you win that. Oh, you got a pair of ones? Yeah. Oh, man. That was not very good. Beats. I kind of want to be on the draw. Do you? No, God. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. Oh, oh, just bad. My hand is a thing of beauty. My hand is really bad, but I'm going to keep it because I have no idea what hands are capable with this deck. Uh, Plus, we, we, have a, we have a lot of ways to buy a lot of time. I'm so. completely in the same boat. All right. <laughs> Start with the Lumbering Falls. All right, I see that was a decent draw. Uh, the Goggles, your turn. Oh, man. Inspire Ministry seems nothing that deck. Yeah, that's good. All right, uh, we'll go up to one energy, four energy, and 23 life. All right. How can you ever deal me 23 damage? Uh, unclear. <laughs> go. Key to the city. Yep. That's the one. Oh, man. Uh, so I can just play a Whirler Virtuoso right this second, but instead, I'm going to wait till I build up a ton of energy, I think. Maybe that's bad. All right. Four down to three up to six. Okay, okay. Go. Now, if he tries to kill, we can make two thopters. And if he doesn't kill it, maybe we'll go ham sandwich on him. All right. Uh, inventor's goggle. All right. Hail life. It's going to be a big old boy. Oh, whoa. oh no. It is a big old boy. <laughs> that's a big old boy. All right, it's not so what you, you expected. You go to 19. <laughs> and I have some thopters. And it's your turn. All right, well, since we got all these energy generators in our hand still, we're just going to spend all of our energy, make two thopters, start uh, applying some pressure. All right, tech. Mm, doesn't seem like I should be blocking 17. All right. Well, I'm going to do this. Okay. <laughs> Copy at 29. Yep. Your turn. All right, key trigger. Um, it is kind of sweet that key can can uh, fuel improvise and then just draw you a card if you want. I think we just want another colored source, so I do want to draw a card. Draw, not a bad pickup for sure. So I have five artifacts available. That's a lot. You could just for one mana, you could play that big hexproof guy. I don't even know if that's in your deck. I assume it is. But... All right, I'm going to attack with this for four. All right, I'm at 25. Yeah, I suppose you can probably afford to take that hit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pay a life. You're at 16. Tap these. Play a brawler. Move these two over here. Oh, if only I had blocked. <laughs> Is that a must ability or a may ability? I'm pretty sure it's a may. It's a may. Hmm. So you could have moved one. And then I'm going to play Retrogriff for singular mana off of Softerith. And that's gas. And draw a card before I trigger the Sanctum. Okay. Okay, Sanctum. Get me a Deep Fiend. Man. My, my deck is dope. Yeah, your deck's great. Go. So, I don't have a Marvel, but I think my only way out of this is to draw one into an Ulamog, like right now. I mean, you got some time. 
I do have some time. But I don't think making Thopters is right since he has this anyway. Sure. Alright, I'm going to main phase crack a Puzzle Knot in case he would kill my Virtuoso. I want to make sure I can have the option to make more energy and mana. So I'm at 28. 28. Here we go. I guess I'll wait. All right, uh, I think we can just keep activating our key. Draw a card. Draw. Probably should have mulliganed. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just going to attack with everything this turn. Might have tapped incorrectly, but... Oh, I should have left this and tapped this. Hmm. All right, I'll make two topters. Yep. All right, I'll quad block the griffin. Yep. And I think I'll single block the thopter too. Or sorry, no, it's quad. Sorry, I'm not gonna do this. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'll take seven. Seven. Twenty-one. And I think I kind of just want to keep building my board. I don't want to deep fiend yet. So I'm going to pay a life, play another brawler. I guess I'll move it to this one. Might as well. Go ahead. I mean, you can keep one on each, so they're both, like, pretty stout. Just keep attacking with them. Yeah. Maybe that's, yeah, that's probably a good point. Let's do that. Okay. I guess I can tap this, too, and leave up the blue. Why not? Your turn. Sure. All right. Draw. Some good. Oh, that was not a bad one. Uh, play Rogue Refiner. Mm -hmm. Go to five. Draw a card. Yep. All right. So instead of casting a tune, I think I'm just going to hold up Puzzle Knot. Or I'll go ahead and just crack one. So go up to eight. 24. Go up to 24 life. Uh, about that deck because it is really hard to deal. <laughs> 40 damage? 40 damage. <laughs> I don't want to attack for one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll attack for one. Sure. All right, 15. It does appear to be pretty free. All right, uh, key again. This is probably the turn we're going to Deep Fiend, so I think I'm just going to save myself a point of life. Draw. Play the Sanctum. And, yep. Any exchange with a Thopter and energy is good for me, I think. Hmm. All right, I'm going to two Thopters. Sure. Oh, double block and single block. Sure. Virtuoso first. Okay. Twenty. Yep. Um, you have two cards. I have two cards. All right, go ahead. Doing your upkeep. I'm going to stack this. Uh, put this on the stack. I'll target your. Your lands except for two forests. All right, so these four, I'm going to spend uh, three and crack this. Yep. Go to 23 and five energy, and one will burn. Draw. Attack for one, put you to 14. Yep. Uh, I'm going to tune, go up to seven. Get a mountain and play that. Here we go. I'm not going to key this turn. Just want to keep every card in your hand or just didn't want to use the mana? They want to use the mana. Sure. Go ahead and activate this. Discard a renegade map. Attack for five. Yep, at 18. And this is why I was blocking a bunch early on. Like, it seemed like I was a, a super high life total, which I was, but. This combination is just going to kill me. 
if I don't draw like a harness lightning or one of my bigger things. Okay. <laughs> Brawler. Yep. I went to 13 off that. Sure. Play a few wrong. Say go. And you do have another deep in your hand I that, I, that I do know about? Yes. Okay. Upkeep. Um, carry on. Bro. This is not going great. All right, go. I don't think it's productive for me to deep fiend since I don't have like two turn lethal or whatever. Um, trigger. Draw a card. Yep. That's not a bad pickup. I'm so dead. Should definitely mulligan this opener. Uh, this is Menace, so I'm going to key. I guess this is a. Uh... 6-9? Six, nine. Six, nine. Yeah, 6-9. Six, six, nine. Nine, yeah. Key this. Discarding. It's just this goggles. Deck. I kind of feel like I have to double block to not just be dead next turn or close to dead next turn. Alright. Double chumps. Yep. Go to 13. Yep. Now, what do I want to do with this Deep Fiend? I feel like if I can just make it out of this turn, I'm good, since this is technically lethal. So, yeah. Go, during your upkeep. Deep Fiend, off Deep Fiend. Target. Um, I guess just these four. Don't want any Lumbering Falls shenanigans enabling an extra land. I could have tapped double falls. There's probably some some way to do that. No, there. I still tap one, activate the other one. So yeah. tapping falls is just wrong, I think. In any capacity. Um I have a feeling he has a metallic rebuke. I can't block anyway, but I'm not facing lethal just yet. I'm gonna cycle this. Yep. Uh go. Oh wait, I am facing lethal. Because of the stupid one. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. Option. All right, whatever. Go. Um. Sure. Um. You gonna deep feed me again? No, no, no. Yeah. Pay a life. Attack. Okay. Boom. I will try to magma spray. The Wandering Fumeral. Yep, that works. Uh, Any time that someone responds to a Fumeral activation, there's just no window. So, 11. Yep, a 2. You've dealt me 36 points of damage. This <laughs> <No. game. laughs> I mean, technically, you could still come back. I know. I have to have exactly... Well, like, so I have this in my hand, but I can't cast this and a... Uh, uh, a marvel without you, uh, yeah, without me. You can, yeah. And I'm one man short of hard casting an Ulamog. That's true. <laughs> All right, uh, I can gain six life, and can I also block? So four. Yeah, I can do that unless you. I guess you can try to counterspell me. All right, I'll play this. Uh, yep. Oh no, I can't block. Yeah, it. I, I'm just gonna keep so those. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I would go to eight. I cannot double block. I did a review for the record. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're here for game two. I'm going to be on the play after getting thoroughly uh, annihilated in game one. Just couldn't draw a thing. Uh, this time our hand is also not great, but it is good enough to keep. Yeah, I'm on a mulligan to six, and this is definitely a much weaker hand than the last, last game. But I think if we just draw, like, a key or something, this hand's pretty good. All right. Did All you right. scry? Yeah. Oh, you scry now. Bottom of that land, don't need it. Um, I reckon we should just do this. I reckon. Oh, that was the worst draw possible. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and gain three life and three energy. I'm at 23. Go. All right. Uh, draw a card. 
fire, go to five. Yep. Here we go. Yep. Hmm. So how big is that guy? Four or five. Four or five. I don't really want to burn all of my energy killing it. This is an A plus Aether Revolt limited draw. Yeah. Alright, go to eight. Let's see go. Hit you. Yep, six or nineteen. Yep. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, whatever. Uh, go to energy, make two thopters. That guy's a 3 4. 3 4, yeah. Don't really want to get rebuked. My plan kind of fell apart. Uh, I guess I kind of want to hit land drops. So we'll do this while he's tapped out. Yep. Two good cards, but. Neither are really lands. I guess one's kind of a land. <laughs> a uh, tunish. <laughs> a tunish, yes. Um, we'll just hold back and threaten some double blocks, I suppose. Yeah, go. It's a lot of that stuff. This is why I never like playing Etherworks Marvel. I just never draw Etherworks Marvel. <laughs> I always draw Ulamogs instead. Uh, so I can't do both of these this turn, but I can do these two. I'm not sure if that's actually good. I don't think just like trading with Thopters accomplishes much. If I just attack with this, it's a 3 4 Tom, or excuse me, Todd, excuse me. Tom on the mind. Can... Yeah, me too. <laughs> 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 double with this. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. So you can uh, double with these two, but then they trade. Uh, I can quad or triple here. If you attack with both, I'm probably just going to go this, this. Yeah, I imagine so as well. But I might not block with this, though. So you might get a little bit of free equity from the Minisk attacking. Yeah. Um,. For most of these blocks to be good, though, Todd does have to commit his Thopters, so I could just attack with everything. And I think that's fine. It doesn't really disrupt the rest of what I have planned out for the turn, especially if he just, like, trades off his entire board position, so you should attack with everybody. I'll make a Thopter? Mm-hmm. I'll block like that. Okay. All right. Clear stuff. Stuff dead. Except for Virtue, I'll take three. 16. I also just kind of want to trade now before a Marvel gets into play, and Todd can generate a bunch of instant oh, come energy on. that way. Hey, back. Yep. Uh, good. Oh. All right. We'll do it next turn. Uh, go. The problem is, all my Ulamogs are in my hand, so... <laughs> so not not optimistic about that. Or, sorry, I'm going to do this and do this. this oh, yeah, yeah, this. that just makes more sense. Just uh, tilt off over here. So. Just a little bit of tilt. All right. Uh, yeah, I can attack with everything. Doing the math of this deck is weird because you have to like balance artifacts versus emerge costs. So every uh, Thopter I have that dies, I still get one energy back. So that's cool. I can do this and then double block. And then go up to either one or two, depending on if he kills my stuff. And then probably hit next turn to be able to Marvel. Yeah. All right. Make a Thopter. Yep. These two block here. Okay, first goes for first. All right, I'll get an energy. I'll take three, five. four, five, down to eleven. One energy back. Uh, 
two more thopters. Go. Yep. There's a part where Ishkana would be great. All right, I'll play in a tune with Ether. Uh, I'll respond. Deep Fiend, Off Thopterist, Target, Marvel, and these three land, or uh, uh, Marvel, Bluff, Bluff, Thopter. And I'm going to put this on the stack under it. I think this makes it the most awkward for him. All right, uh, I'm just going to float uh, red, blue. Sure, this results. Yep. Get another deep ping. Yep. I'm basically dead, but... We can harness this with our mana floating and hold up to not die to the Wandering Fumeral, which I guess we just have to do. I can't really conserve enough energy, uh, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I could kill this, but it's again, I, I get to keep 2 energy, so, and then this is going to hit me 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, put me to 2. I think I just have to try to save as much life as possible, so we'll just kill this and I go to 0. All right, here you go. Uh, given that we just drew that, I don't think there's any reason to not just be a little bit more conservative. And Todd can't even just harness lightning this to take us off deep pain, so I'll just tackle everybody. All right, I'll go to three. Go. Uh, kind of same idea as before. I'm going to just try to hold back and respond to more energy for this. All right. I go to six. Yep. All right. On top. Yep. Draw. Yep. <clears throat> what to do? I guess nothing. Do this. If I cast Anticipate main phase, he's just going to let it resolve, and I would just want land to be able to double spell. I guess I could hit like an Attune, and that kind of puts him in a weird spot. If he has Rebuke, I'm just dead anyway, so whatever. I guess I will play and anticipate. Um, okay, so if I respond now with Deep Fiend, I guess it doesn't make it to where he has to have Glimmer because we're in his main phase, so yeah, it's fine. No, I mean, most of my stuff is Sorcery Speed, so it would have to be Glimmer or... Well, I mean, you just float your mana and then resolve your anticipate and then do whatever. Yeah. Oh, you but I mean, yeah, this, this would be tapped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, maybe that is still better. I don't know what you figured. Um, all right. So, yeah, if we tap these glimmers, Ulamogs. Oh, dead on the board, right? To what I drew. I don't know what you drew. I drew, I drew a really good one. Yeah, I'm going to respond. Right, okay. Uh, Deep Fiend. Yeah, tap. Two, three, four. All right, I'll try to cast a Glimmer. Uh, yep. Okay. 
So we'll go up to six. Top two cards are good. If I survive, they will be worthwhile, I suppose. Probably not going to survive, though. All right, uh, so this is on the stack still, so I'm going to spin this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is on the stack as well. Yep. And this is getting tapped, right? Yes. Yep. I feel like I'm slow rolling, but I'm not sure. You just have a counter spell? No, I have another deep fiend. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure you're dead no matter what. Four. Yeah, I can get this, but that's not enough. Yeah, I think even if you hit... Or I guess, no, this is actually the only thing that can save me, save me, I think. So. All right. Come back. Get three energy. energy. Just pay resolves. Yep. Get this. Yep. And this tapped. This is your yeah, turn. So now I just deep fiend again. You make a token, and then I animate funeral. Yep. I think Ulamog is actually basically the same result as a virtuoso there. All right, uh, we're here for sideboarding, and from the uh, Teamer Marvel side, we we're in a bit of a pickle here. I don't think Sensor is very good against uh, either Emerge or Improvise. Like, Michael's always going to be trying to leave some amount of mana up so that he can cast stuff like Metallic Rebuke, or now after Sideboard, even Negate and Dispel to slow me down and keep me off stuff. So I don't think Sensor's going to get too much value ever. Uh, we're going to be uh, focusing primarily on tapping out almost every single turn, just trying to use our mana efficiently, uh, add some stuff to the battlefield, and hopefully get uh, an Etherworks Marvel into play before turn 7 uh, and, and, you know, try to actually do something. Uh, Dispel is going to be pretty good for helping fight against his counter spells. I wish I had access to more. Uh, I could potentially bring in some negate. Actually, I am going to do that. I don't think Appetite for the Unnatural is very good here. Most of his artifacts are just like cheap things that he doesn't really care about if they live or die. They get some value. There's no big artifact that I'm trying to hit, so I don't even know why I'm bringing this in. Negate can help win a counter war. We're going to do that. Uh, turn to Gear Hulk. Uh, just something to kind of bridge the, the, the mid, mid game. Uh, I don't know if it's actually good or not. In this particular matchup, since we are even cutting some removal spells that kill this, unfortunately. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to cut these and add these and hope for the best. Um, over on my side, it's pretty much like the traditional fish cyborg plan where bring in some more cheap threats and scrap use grounder. Uh, a little resilient, they can get into combat pretty easily against World of Virtuoso and then come back later in the game. Don't have a ton of black sources, but just some Spire of Industries and some cheap artifact to fuel our engines, so it's still good. Mm -hmm. Negates and Dispel, pretty obvious stuff. Uh, one release of Gremlins. I am leaving a by force in my bench right now. Might be bringing in that uh, in the future. Boarding out two Cossex returns, still leaving two in the deck. Um, still a little bit scared of World of Virtuoso and Rogue Refiner. So I do have a couple copies. Might see uh, those being boarded out for the other artifact destruction spell in the future. Uh, some cheap interaction that's not particularly good against Todd's creatures. Uh, Wretched Griff, which kind of goes with the K return plan, so I can board it out safely. And mm -hmm. then I think Implement's just kind of the, the worst engine card left over in the deck. And once we're bringing in just another threat, I think we can cut it pretty safely. Cool. Looks good. That deck looks dope. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm on the play here for game three, and my hand looks kind of weak again, but... Mostly any hand that ever draws Ulamog is going to look kind of bad, but I think as a six-card opener, this is very good. And there is a small chance the game goes long enough where I actually do get to cast Ulamog, but, eh, whatever. Uh, I'm going to keep it and hope for the best. Uh, I took a mulligan to six over on my side. Um, definitely need another land or a really cheap artifact to operate smoothly, but I still think this hand is fine. And I don't know. I... I, I think this card looks good, but is actually just not what we want, so I'm going to bottom it. All right. Uh, I have the option to cast a tune here or wait until next turn in case I draw... Uh, if I draw a blue-red uh, come to play ta untapped land, I can attune for a forest. And uh, if it's the other way around, like if I draw the blue-green one, I don't really need... Uh, I can go get like a mountain maybe. So we're just going to do this and say go. Let's wait till next turn. Moto bug. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's not a motor bug. Maybe it just always happens. Oh, hey. All right. So we'll just do this now. So uh, we're going to go up to two. I'm going to get... I don't really need a mountain. Or whatever. 
get an, get an island. Scrounger, go. Can't beat it. Just 100% dead. <laughs> well, then I guess I goofed. <laughs> <laughs> you bored it in. Why would, why would you put it on bottom? <laughs> yeah, right. Ugh. All right. Uh, go. Hit ya. 17. Keep. Yep. Go. Okay, three. I'm just gonna go ahead and resolve this here. Glimmer of genius, I think, maybe? No. YOLO. Go. Please don't release me. All right, 14. Go. All right, well, you can cast Rebuke, so we have to be a little careful here. Uh, go. Should have got that mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, eleven. Map. Sure. Good. Alright, in turn I'll cast Glimmer. Rebuke. Well, this bill. Yep. Alright, so I go to five. I'm almost surely gonna hit something sweet here. Or not something sweet, but something enough to continue on. I keep scrying to the top. I don't know. It just feels bad. Yeah. It's well it's just all spells. So it's just so good, but yeah, I'm getting I'm getting crushed. I think I think I probably should be bottoming more often. We are down. Is this game four or three? Can't remember. This is game three. All right. So we will go rogue refiner up to seven. Yep. Draw. All right. Sure. Yep. Hit it. One, two, three, four, five. Six. All right. Go up to four. Uh, is it random order with this? I haven't played too yeah, much with, with Marvel. I do it on Moto, and I I guess it just does it. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Uh, tune for something. I guess an island, so I don't have to burn energy to cast this anticipate. I'm just doing this all now, so he never gets a spot to rebuke me. Alright, anticipate. Keep another whirler and there you go. Alright. Uh definitely can't use my mana to draw a card. And if I draw land, then this map is functionally a mana source, so keep it around for a while. So Don't think there's any way to deploy this and leave this up. So, um, definitely want to try to push some damage this turn with key on the scrounger. So I guess that means we're just gonna play our stuff. All right, uh, key discard key, attack key for three. And then eight, eight. Play goggles. Tap everything. Lose two life. Play Thopterist. Right. Equip. Trigger. Go. Yep. Alrighty. Um, I don't think I want to use Virtuoso. I, I just want to keep spinning this Marvel. Alright. Uh, seven. Ten. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, not ten. Cost colored, colored red mana. Maybe I shouldn't play this yet. Or play this one. Sorry. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna spin. Yep. Let's do that first. Four, five, six. Come on. Ugh. All right. Whatever. Three. Go up to eleven. Yep. Uh, four and then six. 
And then I gotta tap a, a hub to do it. And I guess go. I could kill his Thopterus and start attacking. It might actually just be better. Yeah, so I go to five energy. Uh, was it four toughness? So yep, four update toughness. down to four. And then attack. Okay, cool. I do at 18, taking 5 down to 13. Took two Aspires. Uh, Did I miss the damage earlier? One for and then two for the yep. Yep. Oh, okay. I missed the one on the Rebuke. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am going to crack. Uh, maybe I should. Yeah, I'm going to sacrifice this for a land with the key city or the key trigger in the stack. Okay. Draw. Mm hmm. Draw stuff. Mm hmm. Um, fine with any exchange that involves Todd spending energy. It says seven. You just have one lumber and fall. It says ten that can come across. So, not quite lethal, and don't really think we have the luxury of just sitting around, so. I'm going to key the scrounger, discarding a map. Okay. Tag for five. All right. I'll go to one energy and make a thopter. Sure. I'll block a thopter. Sure. Uh, so I take four. I'm at seven. I go back up to two energy. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Got to be careful-ish of deep fiends. Uh, declare tax. Yep. Five. Okay, uh, go. Uh, four, sacrifice implement. Sure. So I go to six. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna crack this. Uh, go up to six energy. Yep. Nine life. This. Sure. Two, three, four, five, six. Finally, bang. All right, I did. All right, uh, I'm back here on the play for game four, the Mulligan two six, and Sand definitely needs some help. This is kind of the issue with the deck built this way. It's like you need en enablers and payoffs, so definitely need some enablers to function with this hand. But I still think it's fine for a Mulligan. Yeah, my side. Uh, well, I'll go and let you scry. Sorry. No, you're fine. Okay, my side, we have kind of a clunker, uh, a little slow, pretty mana heavy, but I'm, I'm just going to keep it uh, yellow. <laughs> We're going to bottom that one. All right, you're up. Go. 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 I will tune for the Aethers. Yep. Just get a island, I guess. Not cracking the implement because it's functionally mana source. This is super awkward. It sucks that it worked out that way. Go. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Two energy. Incoming. Uh, go. Ugh. Yep. <laughs> uh, I hate when that happens. I play enough blue red where that just happens yep. all the time. Um, okay. Uh, three energy. I'll play this. Yep. Uh, go up to six. Your turn. Uh, thought first. Okay. Good. I don't want to just battle. I feel like, I, I guess I can just trade him off if, if he wants to. I don't have a ton going on right now. I guess, I guess we got enough. Seven, go. Um, sorry. All right, 
19? Yep. Might do some while you're tapped out. Sure. Maybe not. I'm do this. Yep. Okay, so go up to nine. Uh, kind of just only looking for Marvel right now, I think. So even though these are okay, I'm going to bottom both. Maybe I'm not just looking for Marvel. Maybe I can just beat you with Virtuoso. So. These cards are just very good with Virtuoso. Yeah, whatever. Yellow. Just have yet to bottom a card with Glimmer. <laughs> it's like, I always either need the land or it's two spells. And all the spells are dope. Yeah. Stop traced. Man, okay. Um... I'm supposed to make a push here. I think I am. My position is not great. And if you just like, yeah, all right. Um, I'm gonna merge and tap you down to an Aether Hub and trigger my Sanctum. I guess what's the difference between two and pretty little? Like you could go land Harness Lightning if you drew it. Yeah, I'll do these three and this. Trigger this whenever you let me have it. All right, blow this. There's rolls. Okay, get another GP. Yep. All right, I'm gonna hit this. So I go up to twelve, down to six. Draw for turn. Yep. I will. Go down to five and then up to eight. So you go. Um, pay two mana and draw a card. Uh, these draft cards are not that bad. Sure, trade. If you'll let me. Yep. Brawler. Yep. Go ahead. Upkeep. You're good. Draw. Yep. Uh, what do we do now? Can't really attack. Uh, kind of tap out for some stuff or not. Gonna go with it or not. <laughs> Alright, your turn. Draw card. Uh no. Nah. Trigger on the stack. This Great. is on tap. Alright. I'm gonna cast torrential gear hulk. Sure. Alright, I'll glimmer. Sure. Alright, go up to four energy. Uh, I think I can bottom the attune. Yeah, so I can still cast all my stuff. Even though it's energy generator, I think that's just not what we want. Okay. Um. That's what I got. You're at 20 still, right? Yep. You've done so much stuff. Well, I think I'm 
just gonna triple block the 3-3. Three, three. So. Alright, I go to 18. Mm -hmm. Menace is super annoying. Pia. Pia? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Alright, untap, draw. Yeah. Alright, attack. Um, play uh, Ethor's Marble. You put a land up. I have not. Sure. Alright, and then I will play other Virtuoso. Maybe. I'll dispel. Let's go to seven. I think I'm just gonna spend while he's tapped out. Try to hit a Ulamog and close it as much as I can. Three, six. We miss Ulamog, but we did another gear hole. Uh, only real target is the harness because we've already cast the glimmer. Uh, but we can't just go ahead and kill Pia, I think, so that. Well, we can kill the, the Thopterist, and that'll give him a harder time casting Defiant. Like, he can still cast for four off this, but he can cast it for two off of this. Pia might be able to make things not block, which is annoying. All right, I'll just kill Pia. That's probably wrong, but so I do gain one. And your turn. Well, hope I draw land. My dad, if you draw land, oh, should have asked harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you have three cards. Yeah, I have three cards. Oh, do you have a release? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, it's still really good. So I'm guessing these two die, and I get two energy. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I mean, I guess you could just kill the two gear hulks and hope. Yeah, it just seems so greedy. Um, I want to get into combat before I think, so that I can't make a. So I can't make any trades. Yep. E this. Okay. Take five or three. We get fifteen. Yeah, gremlins. These two. All right. We'll go up to four energy. You get two gremlins. Cool. <clears throat> oh, we don't got them. <laughs> All right. Gremlins incoming. Let's keep it keep it moving. Right, draw for turn. Not a terrible draw, not a great one. I guess we can just start with this, yep. see what we hit off of it. All right, so we're going to go up to six. Marvel. Not quite. All right, I'm just going to play this and crack it and go to 12. Or maybe that's stupid. I'll just wait. Sure. All right, so we go to nine and uh, 18 life. I was at 15, I think. Oh, I just missed those three points. Yep. All right, nine energy. Yep. Uh, I think I just tech with just this. Um. I really hate just taking this hit, but I just give up so much of my board position if I quad block. I feel like I need all my Thopters to win the game. Yeah, 10. Alright, and then we'll play another Lumbering Falls and take it. Uh, draw a card off key. Okay. Key 
my thopterist. Attack for five. Okay. Like three thopters. Yep. Uh, declare blocks on the three thopters, and then I'll harness the two two. I don't think I can win. Alright, so no energy. Or sorry, I go up to one. Go. Alright, so this is definitely shoving. Uh, this is coming. I'm fine making that trade. We can tackle both these and you can only kill one. Can't deep fiend us right this sec. We might want to attack with our Lumbering Falls, too. Yeah, let's see. Three, three, four. We can just get both if we play our land first. Oh, Thumb's dead. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you were... I forgot. I thought you were 15. Because you, you took yeah, the hit Yeah, I, I, I went to 10 off that. I was not expecting you to take the hit out. But we good. All right, back here for game five. Uh, I made some small adjustments in sideboarding. I've removed all my Cosmic returns, and I actually put a Sweltering Suns in my deck because uh, Whirly Virtuous has been such such an annoying problem. It is a great card. Um, this what? hand is missing a payoff, but I think you just have to keep this type of hand. Uh, my hand is very hit or miss. Uh, if I don't end up... If I'm not able to have a target for this, I think we're just going to get rolled, but... Uh, we I don't know we can draw some stuff to prevent some damage early on. So. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> yep. Why that card's unbeatable? Yeah, maybe you're dead. Every, now. Well, every every time I've played against Inventor's Goggles in a versus video, I've gotten annihilated. How many times have you played against Inventor's Goggles? Just twice now. Okay. And I, but I've been getting annihilated. So, so. Tom played it once when uh, when it first was printed. Alongside some, uh, wait, wait, I'm going to negate that. No, 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 I'm negating that so you can't play your Thopterus and you can only play the other one. Scum. Go. All right, I'm going to play a Wheeler Future Shear. Mm -hmm. He got greedy over there, you know? He got greedy trying to cast all his artifacts. Was it greedy? <laughs> Was it? A little. Getting punished, ain't you? Uh, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting punished. <laughs> All right. Go. So you got two, two thopters, and you're at 19. Yep. All right, and you can still cast rebuke too, and that's dope. I guess we just use our mana efficiently against a counter spell once they go. Alright, draw a card up key. Sure. Sure. Alright, make a doctor. Sure. Red block. Sure. Take four. Yeah. Sixteen. Good. Try a glimmer. Uh, so, wait. Did you go to 15 or 16? You said hey you for 4, right? Yeah, I'm because First damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm losing my mind, dog. Rebuke you. Yep, that's a blowout. Well, we could have... Well, well, whatever. Just going to do this and this. Mm -hmm. Go up to 5 and up to 19 life. And attack you for 2. You're at 17. Go. Uh, two triggers on the stack. Resolve the first one. Um, I don't know. Yeah, resolve the second one. I ain't trusted. Man, that was one good metallic rebuke. Alright, block. Take three. Sixteen. Go. We racing now. Twelve. 
Alright, I'm gonna draw some cards while you're tapped out. Yeah. Up to four. Problem is your cards are just better than mine. Alright, go. I'm not even sure I can actually play defense. I mean, I kind of have to at this point, I guess. How many cards are in your hand? Four? Okay. Scribe one to the bottom for reference. Uh, kill these two. Jeez. Right, cost one more. Ow. Uh, yep. Go. Alright, I'll make a topter, I guess. Sure. Upkeep? Yep. Draw. Uh, we'll cast an attune uh, relief. Mm -hmm. Alright. Get a mountain. I'm gonna play a tap land attack for one. So you go. Um, uh, key my goggles. Draw card. Mm -hmm. Draw. Play harness lightning, targeting this. Green hand. I'll negate it. Okay, I'll make the doctor. Yep. Untap. This is the moment where I draw some good. Some good. Oh yeah, attack. Nine, Nine to sixteen. Mm -hmm. Bang. Go. Two triggers. Uh, first one. Draw soap. Okie doke. First choice or first? Okay. Good. Yep. Good. All right. So now we kind of have to play D unless we draw something tight. That was not tight. Yeah. yeah maybe we'll draw an Ulamog next turn though. That would be tight. <laughs> Disagree. All right. I'm going to declare tax. Yep. Uh, what, what do you have? I told that nine to sixteen. Yeah, I'll trade. Okay. Your turn. Uh, one key. Just a... I'm so dead. He's drawing so many extra cards off those keys and improvising and stuff. Don't talk about it. Can't play defense. Let's make three bodies. Yeah, well, I had to draw three of them. I guess it was only two. I thought it was the third one. Yeah. Yeah, big three. I'm at 13. Gonna get Deep Fiend Chain. You also got two Sanctums, and I'm sure you have a Deep Fiend in hand. Like, I'm. Yeah, second Sanctum was a good draw there. Your turn. Doing your upkeep. I'm gonna instant speed Ulamog you. Don't I, don't have, I don't have anything, man. Whatever. Uh, These are tapped. I don't care. I'll tap all my red ones. No, I'm gonna. I might tap your creature. Okay. Yeah, uh, three canals in this. And I'm going to resolve this. Oh, is that it? Just just that? Just all those? Whoop. Close. Go. Thirteen. 
I'm at 13. Um. Yeah, I guess I can key once. Throw. Mm-hmm. Kill this. Um, I get it. I'll dispel it. Hold on, I gotta recreate this deck. <laughs> you have one card left. I have one card left. It's a doozer. Is it? No, it's whole, it's a land. <laughs> I haven't cast anything for like twenty like, turns. It doesn't seem like it would be, but what do I know? Sure, it's dead. All right. No energy left. Take five. I'm at eight. Um. Go. Upkeep. Carry on. But it's a new mog. Then it's not new mog, but this is gonna be a new mog. I mean, I would I would still be fine. Are you in? I quit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you Lamog deck a deep fiend and then key it and then deep fiend again on the. No, I'm just I'm squashing those. And then I died to this. Oh, I see. Sure, sure. Well, key you. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Whatever. You're a jerk. <laughs> All right, so uh, some really good back and forth there in those games, really showcasing uh, what the decks can do. Unfortunately, a little flooded on my side, but I think that's just going to happen in a deck where you play a bunch of card draw spells as well as like a tune with ethers and, and things like that. You know, like I have uh, this extra resource and energy in uh, trying to expend it in the correct ways to make sure that I get the most out of it is pretty difficult to do, but when you have a dump like a World of Virtuoso and you're trying to play a good defense uh, and you don't have access to an Aetherworks Marvel, it's pretty easy, you know? Yeah, an understated part of Marvel is that, like, a pretty large portion of games you're actually just going to get to 10 mana and cast Ulamog. Yeah, I, there was only the one game where I was able to do it if I drew it. Mm. Uh, other games I got stuck on 9 or my 10th line kind of like tap. Stuck or, on 9. <laughs> stuck on 9, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we drew a lot of lands, but that's okay. The The deck can, can fight through that a lot. I mean, I only cast Aetherworks Marvel twice, I think, in the five games. Yeah, I think so. And uh, that that's like a pretty low percentage of, of the, the time. And uh, uh, But the, the games where I cast it, I think I won pretty easily, right? Mm. Or did I lose one of the pre-board games where you, I cast it? You won it? game four very easily with it. Yeah. I don't know. The card's dumb, but you got to draw it. Um, yeah. Um, my deck was really cool. I, I think it was... Uh, it definitely impressed me. Yeah, so there's, like, a lot of small ball synergy stuff. You, like... And Inventor's Goggles is really good. Yeah, it's it, it's just... Uh, it's kind of, like, this little annoying thing that if it costs mana to use, it would probably not be very good. But since it's just free, uh, it turns on Improvise and just adds, like, little points of damage. Or even just, like... Uh, well, they play defense. Yeah, plus, plus toughness for defense looked really, really powerful there. And I'm a Marvel deck, and it was giving me problems. <laughs> Yeah, God forbid we're actually like playing a creature mirror or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of things about this deck impressed me. I, I thought I was gonna lose game five very easily around like turn six, but once I just like kind of slowed down and let Key to the City take over, was able to win that game. I mean, Todd drew pretty poorly down the stretch, but no, it happens. But I mean, when when you get to uh, Metallic Rebuke and then draw two cards, yeah, like that's just it's just gonna. If if I'm not killing him like the next turn, like I'm not gonna be able to beat that card advantage. So right. Also just lets you chip through, obviously, with the actual main text on the card. So, right, right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, clearly, you know, this is a, a new archetype or new spin on an old archetype, however you want to you say it. And uh, this list is a little untuned, but, you know, it still made top eight of a Moto PTQ, which is nothing to scoff at. And Yeah, I mean, very likely he had to go 4-1 in a, a PPTQ first on Magic Online. Right. And then he went 6-1 in the Swiss. And did he lose in top eight or top four? Top eight, I believe. Top eight. So yeah, so five two or no six two record in the PTQ four one or better, so ten and three ish. So. Yeah, approximately. Yeah, and Magic Online meta game usually pretty difficult, like a lot of solid players on there. So it's it's definitely something to keep an eye on, especially if you like doing quirky stuff. Yeah, if you're you know just want to change it up a bit and kind of play a synergy driven game, which is not something that we experience that much anymore. No, I mean I I I just can't 
fathom uh, trying to play synergy decks anymore. Like I, I've been doing it for so long mm -hmm. with these like thing in the ice decks and Power Master <laughs> goggle decks, and I just haven't done well with one in forever. So I'm just I'm just back on casting really powerful mythic rares. So, but if you want to cast uh, the the Maverick Thopterist or whatever, feel free. It's it seemed really good. There actually are zero mythic rares in this deck, which is really funny now that you mention yeah. it. Yeah, that's why it feels a little weaker. <laughs> <laughs> just put no oh, Glorybringer's not even mythic either, is it? No. Yeah, no, I was gonna say just put some Glorybringer. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, that's gonna be all for me and Michael today. Uh, make sure to tune in the rest of the week. We're gonna have a bunch more standard for you guys featuring Amon Ket leading up to the Pro Tour this weekend, as well as SCG Regionals. We doing that still? No, nope. nope, not this time. No, nope. That's weird. A little weird. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> Pro Tour coverage this weekend. Make sure you tune in or you're going to miss all the sweet decks and stuff and all the cool personalities like Michael Majors is going to be there. there. I'm going to be at home. But, you know. Uh, I hope I don't play with Marty Vehicles, but maybe I will. You're probably going to play Marty Vehicles. It's, it's crap. Yep, crap. Well, maybe I can uh, go to our team test. Are we doing this Tom Die thing or no? <laughs> all right. Well, also, sweet new product. Uh, CG's making us push. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, it's the Tarmo die. Uh, Tarmo uh needs its own die. Uh, we, we've actually had uh, versions of this on camera for quite a while. Uh, they were like the big uh, blocks, basically. Yeah, that's, this the big a lot more elegant. This one's a lot, a lot more elegant. You can see it's green, like Tarmo Goyf, which is kind of cool. Uh, it has all the way up to 8-9, I believe, which is the biggest that Tarmo Goyf can get, until they decide to make another card type, like... First thing Tom said is... <laughs> It's playing. <laughs> the Price is Right. It's totally true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. It, it does kind of look like the the wheel from Price is Right, which is yeah. kind of dope. All right. I don't. I I don't have it in me anymore. I'm done. Yeah, we got yeah. nothing left. See you ah. next week. Bye.